You are ill, Davis, ill in mind. An old canker to your kind peculiar has laid waste the brain's potential richness in delight and beauty, and your body grows awry like an old thorn for lack of the soil's depth, and sickness there uncurls slowly its small tongues of fungus that shall thickening swell and choke you while your few leaves are green still. And so you work in the wet fields and suffer pain and loneliness as a tree takes the night's darkness, the day's rain, while I watch you and pray for you and so increase my small store of credit in the bank of God, who sees you suffer and me pray and touches you with the sun's ray that heals not yet blinds my eyes and seals my lips as Job's were sealed imperiously in the old days. Poor hill farmer astray in the grass. There came a movement and he looked up, but all that he saw was the wind pass. There was a sound of voices on the air, but where? Where? It was only the glib stream talking softly to itself. And once when he was walking along a lane in spring, he was deceived by a shrill whistle coming through the leaves. Wait a minute, wait a minute, four swift notes. He turned. And it was nothing, only a thrush in the thorn bushes easing its throat. He swore at himself for paying heed, the poor hill farmer, so often again, stopping, staring, listening in vain, his ear betrayed by the heart's need.